Oh, yeah. I'm Brian Aguji, and I'm a snowboarder. I mean, growing up in Cal Southern California, like the snowboarding there, it's just you know, a lot of warm weather, just a really comfortable snowboarding environment, you know, slushy snow. Progression, a lot of progression happening, a lot of um, sessions where your first tricks would go down and, you know, it really accelerated the sport. When he first moved to Jackson, I guess it was just kind of like, whoa, there's a pro in town who's bigger than any other pro in town. You know what I mean? It was like Willie McMillan, Rich Goodwin, Lance Pittman, Brody Dow. Um, Dave Schmaley. We just had this little crew and there just wasn't any of this like drama or like any shit. It was just, you knew that you were going out every day to film. And it was just day after day after day after day after day of like doing it. Just day after day after day after day. And it's like these movies and these projects we were working on before Kurt Morgan even probably heard about Jackson. Taking us to the top now. She won't well, when I first moved to Jackson, it was, you know, it was all about exploration. The technology had gotten to a point where you could get around in powder, and we started renting snow machines, and, and that really opened up a lot. You know, we probably broke every rule in the book, and plus we were on, like, really shitty old 600s. When they first came here, that was the heyday of snowboarding here, you know. We all got it that like if it just snowed a bunch of snow, we probably shouldn't go out into the like steepest, heaviest terrain for a few days until it settled. I mean just kinda like just sort of stuff that you just just sort of know from being in this environment a lot. But it wasn't something that we ever like talked about. You know, I don't remember Gooch ever like having sort of like this thing about, you know, becoming aware, more aware. That makes, you know, and until Tristan died, it's like once Tristan died, it seemed like all of a sudden Gooch was like, had a shift. I was actually up with Travis and the, you know, Lance, a bunch of the guys up here in uh, the backcountry. We had an avalanche and Tristan passed away. And I was a mess for weeks. My phone started blowing up at like six in the morning and, uh, you know, picked up the phone and he's like, have you heard? And I'm like, I'm like, her what, man? He's like, there's been a big avalanche in, in Canada, and Craig passed. And at that point, he really, like, almost dropped out of snowboarding for good. He had lost it. He'd never, you know, he'd lost two close friends and people he admired. From that day forward, it's like, you know, I'm gonna step it up with my passion and love for the sport and do it responsibly. Just calling to see what those results were down there. Got CT and 14, down 20, 25, and um, sudden planer, it's a resistant planer. You know, I wanna keep riding, you know, I don't know how, how many days I'm gonna be on this planet, but I wanna make sure I enjoy every opportunity and, you know, do it, do it the best I can, so. He has this real magical like balance of that that passion and drive, but it doesn't get so swept up into it that he becomes an asshole. How's it going? Can you need help? What's he like as a as a dad? Yeah. Uh, awesome. Super loving. Okay, let's see. Okay, Keep the sage. Like cutting. he's so gentle and like kind with them and. He's just, he has a great time with them. He's always been very, like, childlike to me. When we got together, I was always like, he's going to be the best dad. <laughs> it's like speckles. Yeah, like snow, huh? Like, this past year, you know, Milo starts snowboarding. You know, he's just in love with it. It's like the best feeling ever. You know, it's just, uh, yeah, there's so much joy with the, with the kids, you know, and everything in life. And, just seeing him grow. <laughs> the youth is it's a trip. I feel like he's kind of taking on a fatherly role to a lot of kids. 
I feel like he he seems to kind of take that mentorship pretty seriously. Do whatever you think. Well, hold on, if I got a nice spin, something will happen. Like the professional guys I've worked with over the years on, on projects, you know, they've really you know, left a huge impression on me. And, and if there's anything I can give back to the future generation of snowboarders, man, it's, you know, a little bit of knowledge and, you know, a little push in the right direction. I honestly think that he loves snowboarding now more than he ever has, you know. Like, I think, I think he's come, he's come for full circle to a really, like, pure, uh, pure spot in snowboarding again, you know. And I feel like he can just kind of ride pow and be happy and raise his family and, and uh, be a happy little chuckle and Buddha. You know, honestly, I just wanted to find passion in life and just make good decisions. <laughs> Sun go down.